Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at a problem that you might confront when you're trying to make compound paths in Illustrator. What I have here is an image that I'm preparing as a stock image. And so up here in the layer that actually has the image on it, I've got two elements. Firstly, I've got all my line work. And you can see that when I select this over here that this is still lines. It's not filled shapes, it's just simply line work. And then here I have all the colors. Now what I want to do is I want to turn my line work into filled shapes because this line work would not be acceptable on sites such as Shutterstock. They don't let you actually upload vectors that have lines in them. Everything has to be filled shapes. So we would need to convert this to filled shapes. So with this set of objects selected, just the line work, I'm going to expand them. I'll choose object and then expand and click OK. Now while that has expanded my line work into filled shapes, you can see that now everything is filled, not a stroke. You can see also that things are a really big mess here. There's just groups and groups and groups and everything is looking pretty awful. Well, a nice simple solution to this would be to convert all of this into a compound path. But when I right click this line work, you'll see that compound path is not an option. Now that's a little bit strange because let's have a look at what you might expect to see. I've got some objects here. So if I select over these two objects and right click, you'll see that make compound path is an option. So it should be on that right click menu. Now you might say that because all of these objects aren't overlapping, that that's causing a problem. Well, if I right click these objects, I'm still getting this make compound path option. So it's obviously not to do with that. Now one possible solution and a quick and easy solution if you like is just to grab this group of objects and just merge them all together. So I'm going to the Pathfinder. Of course you can get to that by choosing Window and then Pathfinder. I'm just going to click on Unite. Now that does most of the job but it doesn't do all of it. Let's have a look here. You'll see that we've got a compound path for most of the objects but left behind are the inner rim here of the tire and the window. So it hasn't done everything for us. And selecting and right clicking the line work is still not showing that option for creating a compound path. Now you can make this all into a compound path. You just have to force Illustrator to listen to you. And the force Illustrator to listen to you command is over here on the object menu. We're going to choose object and then compound path and make. And when we do that, we're forcing Illustrator into making this into a single compound path. So everything is all together. All the line work had been converted into filled shapes and now they're all grouped together into a single object. You can see it's just a single object. You can't open this up, it's not a group, it's just one single object. Now some people have a look and see the word compound path and go, oh no, there's a really big problem there. I don't know what a compound path is. This should not be a compound path. Well, actually it should be a compound path. And if you get offended by these little brackets and the word compound path, or if you think that your user might get offended by that, you just double click on this and you type a new name. I'm just calling this line work. And while I'm here, I'm going to rename this group and call it colors. So this is still a compound path. We haven't changed the nature of it. All we've done is remove those offending words for those people who find it hard to look at something that says compound path and not feel really stressed by it. And here our group is called colors and inside the group are a whole series of paths that comprise all the colors for this artwork. So anytime you need to create a compound path from a series of filled objects, the Unite command is a really quick and easy one. If that doesn't work, then you can go ahead and go to the Object Compound Path Make option, which forces Illustrator, then then make that into a compound path, even though the option to do that is not on the right click menu. I hope this video has helped you. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.